Hello and welcome to another video from me, Rough Swordsman Wargamer. It's part three of a playthrough of Field Commander Rommel from DVG. In the last video, we saw the Axis starting to push forward, pushing back the Allies from Cambrai and some reinforcements coming on. But time is running out and we don't have any supplies. So we'll see how we do in the next couple of turns. But before that, you may have noticed, some of you have in the last video, that there was a two round battle going on and I forgot, I put it down to the stresses of life, others are saying old age, that I forgot to distribute the hits in between the rounds. Of course, if a battle goes on for more than one round, you sort out the hits of that round and then do the second round. So apologies for that, didn't make any difference to the outcome of the battle, but there we go. It was also pointed out that I'm not quite playing the orders correctly. This is how I interpreted the rules, but they're not 100% clear evidently. So he directed me to BGG and on there is a Phil Commander Rommel FAQ, which clears up any little discrepancies that you might have when playing this game. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Right, fully armed now. Hopefully there won't be any daft mistakes. We'll continue with the next turn. So here we go. First thing we do, of course, every time is to advance the turn counter. We're now up to June the 5th to 14th and refit. But for once, all our forces are A-OK. -okay. Battle moves. We've got to keep pushing forward. Time isn't on our side. So I'm thinking of moving in these two forces of, of panzers and artillery into Arras, another allied objective. Quite a powerful force here, but they will be using their defensive numbers. So I think we'll do that. It's a bit risky, but we've got to take that objective to win the game. So let's have a go at it. Let's just move those like that. And we'll move these two units in. And a battle will commence. So battle plans. For the Allies they get one battle plan for each full force, so that's two, but they've got nine <laughs> supplies. So they're going to get an extra two battle plans, but it will cost them two of their supplies, so they are down to seven. So four battle plans. If I can pick them the wrong side down, yep. Keep the suspense. Four. Okay, what they got? Disrupt. Well, that's not going to do them any good. Deploy. Oh, no. Exploit. Oh, crikey. So, Disrupt isn't going to do them any good because we haven't got any supply, so we can get rid of that. This one, they've got to pick one random reinforcement force. Not happy about that. Oh, it's the first time side. Exploit, if they destroy us, they will move back into Cambrai, and they've got an artillery. Right, we have two full German forces, so that's four points, that's it. We haven't got any supplies to buy any more. So what are we having? Somebody did mention in the comments about using Overrun, more thematic, but remember this one has an attack value of seven, so it doesn't really need any more. So we'll bear that in mind. And I think we'll have our dig in. <laughs> I think we're going to need that. And we're going to have to have a press. We've got a three. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do this. We're going to get pushed back. But anyway, let's see. We'll go first and for the 25th Panzers. Seven 
attack value, so we're going to hit anyway, and a three superscript. Wish us luck. Oh, it's a two. Right, good. We're off. We've got three forces to get rid of. Not sure if we're going to be able to do that. For the 78th artillery, I can get hold of it. There we are. Four and a superscript of two. Oh my goodness me! <laughs> That's four hits. We might be in with a chance. Okay, it's the Allies. They'll use their artillery. One to two, two hits, and the three is one hit. No, five. Right, they are using their defensive numbers though, their middle numbers. So the first time side, two. The fourth Royal Tank Regiment, well, they're both the same. So this one, three. No, oh, two. Oh, that's two hits. One of them's going to get reduced. And this one, three. Four. Whew. Right. Now, this is what I forgot last time. I should now sort out the hits. Four hits. So... Excuse fingers. Each one has to be reduced. That's two, and that's three. And then we pick, come here. Then we pick the lowest one for the last hit. Where's my forceps? There we go. Up to the top, excuse my arm, on the axis resupply. That's helped a bit, not a lot, but look at us. We've got to take two hits. So one, two, I think we'll do. It's up to us, I think. Although, hold on, look, silly sausage. We'll only take one, we'll reduce, thank you very much. It is hot here and it's... <sighs> Houses in the UK don't tend to have uh, air conditioning. <laughs> so it's blooming hot. So just one. Reduced there. I think that's right. But our digging is now gone, of course. And we're using our press. And we'll go first again. So we haven't got any battle plans left. So this one is seven and superscript to three. Four. That's a hit. Oh, come on. This one is reduced, but it's two with a superscript of two. Oh! <laughs> I don't believe it. That's two hits. Where is it? There. Three. We've only gone and done it. But. But. It's their turn. Artillery. Five. Oh, now. They're both at two. Three. <sighs> Seventh Royal Tank Regiment. Oh, no. They get us. Right, so for us, we'll have to reduce this one. But three hits means they are destroyed. Oh, but at a cost. Oh, what am I doing? There we are. Get on there. So these two join the first time side up the top there on the axis resupply. And we have now got control of Arras. But look at this. Reduced. Reduced. That's the battle over. These are gone back to the pot. It's now non-battle moves. <laughs> Crikey. So there were no upgrades, of course, because they are both fully upgraded. So, non-battle moves. 
Now technically, Cambrai, as there are no Axis forces in it, is controlled by the French, because that's the flag. So we're going to have to move in a force to uh, regain control of that, and we'll move the Toddenkopf in. We'll move the 7th Schutzen into Brussels, and the 31st into Dinan. Supply check. Nope, we're all okay. And now it's Axis resupply. Two per allied objective held. Well, we hold two now, so that's four resupply points. Two, if any Axis forces didn't move. No, they all moved. And one per destroyed allied force. And we've got four there. They go back in the pot. And we get eight resupply points. Well, I'm going to spend five of them on the last reinforcement, the 15th Panzers. We've got three left, which will cash in for supplies. That'll be six. Pleased about that. Okay, that's the end of the Axis turn. It is now the Allied turn. Refit? No, they're all okay. Allied operation check. Down here. There's only three left. And it is... Oh my goodness, two more forces. Oh, the 7th Royal Tank Regiment is back. Oh, and the 25th Armoured. Oh dear. When we get the go, that's going to go bonkers. Right. Next is Allied Orders up here. Allied Orders for each region. For Allied forces in an objective. Well, there aren't any. We've got Cambrai and Arras as well. So we move down to here. Allied forces not in an objective. And this was the bit I wasn't doing quite right. What we should do is work out the uh, die roll modifier. Roll the die. Apply the modifier and see what we get. And then apply that result to everything in the region. And I was doing it separately. So let's see if we can do it right this time. So in this region, we've got one, two, three, four allies and two axis. So that's going to be a plus two to the die roll. And they get a two and a two plus two is four. And it says objective. So they're going to move towards the nearest non-occupied objective, which is a Sherborg. So they're all going to move back towards Sherborg to protect it. So here we go. And they lose a supply as well. Okay, for this region, there is just the one, and there are one, two, three, four, five. So that's a minus four to their die roll. They get a four, and a four minus four is nothing. So one or less, they hold. Oh, there are no battles to resolve, no upgrades. So it's allied resupply. Up here again, those three areas, Caen, Calais, and Paris. So for Caen, we don't hold any of those areas, so it's just as is. They roll a three, and that's a false in Caen. And it's the 11th Durham back for Calais. A one, that's another false there. Ooh. It's the 10th Durham. And for Paris, they throw a two as well, another false. And that's the first time side. And that's it. That's the end of the turn. I think I've done it right this time, I hope so. Yeah, it doesn't look too good. They're <laughs> concentrating their forces down towards Cherbourg. So, start of another turn.
Here we go then. Advanced turn counter. June the 15th to the 21st, 1940. Refit, now then. I think we will, but what to refit? If we re refit both of those, that'll only leave us a couple of supplies. We've got to get down there, haven't we? Now, of course, the only problem is we have got to leave a force, I believe, in these objectives to continue to hold them. If we leave it blank, it reverts back to whichever flag is on there. So that's something to take into consideration. Got to refit these, those. These are the strongest. So we'll refit these. That's going to cost four, but that means that elite goes down to veteran because they're getting new troops in or new tanks in and not all of them have got that ability. I think that's, a, that's the sort of thinking behind it. So that's four. We're now down to two. There we are. So that's that. Battle moves. Two turns left. Do we move into Rouen and use our last supplies up and battle that lone motorised infantry force? Does leave it open. We could move the Tottenkopf into here to control that again and move this into here. Crikey. That still means we haven't got a big enough force here to tackle these. Got to wait for this to turn up, one of these panzers to turn up. Of course, difficult. All right. We'll move down. We get one move for free and then we're going to move into Rouen. and use up our supplies. And again, you're probably shouting at the monitor, but I tell you now, this is a hard campaign to, uh, to do. Frustratingly fun, I call these sort of games, and DVG are experts at that. So that's it. It is now battles. So we'll just tidy that up a bit. Battle plans for the allies, they have one force there, so one battle plan, but they do have six supplies, so they get an extra battle plan at the cost of one of those supplies. They are down to five, so two battle plans. One. Two. What they got? Press. Oh. Disrupt. We haven't got any supplies, so that could go back in the pot. And for us, we have two full German forces, so that's four, but that's all we can get. We have no supplies. What is that? That is, uh, excuse fingers as always, that's six. I don't think we need to use the overrun. We're going to use our digging though. And we've got one left. We don't need a press now. We'll use the old AT guns. Could do a, a tactics for a reroll. But there again, that's the uh, beauty of these games. You'll play them different. Resolve battles. So, we're using our anti-tank guns. We need a one or a two. Oh! <laughs> Throwing lots of ones. That's a hit on the third motorized infantry. Now we attack with our forces. We have oh dear six and a superscript of three, so still not too bad. And I've put that in the wrong one, haven't I? There we are. Four. That's the other hit we needed. We don't need to do any more. They attack. They need a two. And they get a four, so no. We didn't need to use our dig in. We don't need the press. And let's get rid of those. And do two hits. One, two, up to the Axis resupply box for you. And now we get an upgrade. 
So we're going to upgrade our Panzers again or this one. Do you know what? I think we'll upgrade that one because that six is going to get a hit anyway. So there we are. Non-battle moves. So non-battle moves. We've got to move something into that, otherwise we will not control it. Didn't really want to move the Tottenkopf in there, but we're going to have to. We'll move the Panzers down here. Panzers here. And these into Cambrai. And I think that's right. <laughs> Supply check. Everything is okay. Axis resupply. Two per objective held. So that's four. Everybody moved. And we've got one in the uh, box there. So that's five resupply points. We don't have any more reinforcements. So we're going to cash them all in for supplies. Maybe coming too late, but it does mean we can push forward maybe a bit more maybe pay for some more battle plans and that sort of thing think that's it that's the end of the axis turn over to the allies so refit i think they're all okay aren't they allied operation check no there's only two left and it is One false. That means goes in the pot. It's going to go bonkers next turn. I think that might be our downfall. Anyway, let's get that false out. And it is the fourth, oh, the fourth Royal Tank Regiment. On there, look. Crikey. <laughs> Allied orders. Well, up here again, they don't have, oh, they have that one, but they're going to hold. So they're holding there. There's uh, two or less there. We have the others. So let's see what they're going to do for this region. There are one, two, three, four, five allies. One, two, three axis. So that's a plus two. Two plus two is four. Oh, they're going towards our objective again. So back they, we're not going to be able to take that, are we? Look. This region, there are two allies and one, two, three, four. So that's going to be a minus two. That's probably a hold. Three. Minus two is one, they're holding. There are no battles, they're all pulling back. So it's allied resupply. This thing again, can't. Four. That's a false. The Chasseurs. Long way from Belgium. Calais. Two, that's another one. We're running out of forces. It's the third. Motorized infantry and Paris. Five. It's four supplies. They are back to nine. There we are. That's the end of the turn. I don't think we're going to do this because this is a bit of a bottleneck. We've got to get another force here so we can attack maybe with loads of forces, but that's going to take, we're going to do a battle here and then move into here. We can't move into there at the same time. And these aren't going to get up down here in time. We've only got two turns left, so I don't think we're going to do it. I think the allies have held us back. That very first turn didn't help. So I think we're going to call this an allied victory. Hope you agree. Don't think we can do it. 
And of course they're going to get more, well they've only got one more left, one more reinforcement and that's another tank unit. We're going to have to skirt Paris so we can have to come around here and that's going to take supplies and turns. Yeah, I'm going to concede and say this is an Allied victory. Well, they do say though that this campaign is a real hard one to beat and I can see why. But, thoroughly enjoyed that. Easy enough to play once you get the rules. So there we are. Me as Rommel has completely changed history, but I hope you enjoyed that. If you did and you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel, pushing the like button of the video, even though we didn't win, and the bell if you want to be informed of other content that gets uploaded. Leave a comment. I dare say I'm going to get some grief for the way I played or not, and share. It all helps the little channel. And if you want to support the channel a bit further, well, now you can by buying me a coffee. Doesn't cost much. And all those coffees go towards new content for the channel. So this has been the conclusion of a playthrough of DVG's Field Commander Rommel, where we saw Rommel halted at Le Havre and Calais. So <laughs> until next time. As always, you take care and goodbye.